King Afonso VI was born on August 21, 1643, as the son of King João IV of Portugal and Queen Luisa de Guzman. He ascended to the throne of Portugal at a very young age, in 1656, following the death of his father. However, he was still a minor, and his reign was managed by a group of advisors who governed the country as regents. One notable characteristic of King Afonso VI was his significant physical and mental disabilities. He suffered from speech and motor impairments, likely caused by neurological disorders or other conditions that were not well understood medically at that time. This condition made it difficult for him to communicate clearly and affected his ability to speak decisively on matters of governance. His mental disorder also influenced his leadership. He often displayed signs of emotional instability, such as sudden mood swings, impulsiveness, and an inability to control his emotions effectively. These factors made it challenging for him to lead the country effectively, and most significant decisions were made by his advisors. At one point, King Afonso VI met a woman named Maria Francisca Isabel de Saboya, known as Queen Maria Francisca. Maria Francisca was the daughter of Victor Amadeus I, Prince of Carignano, from Savoy, and Queen Maria Anna of Portugal. They met at the palace and fell in love with each other. Their marriage took place on August 2, 1666, and Maria Francisca became the Queen of Portugal. Despite King Afonso VI's physical and mental disabilities, Queen Maria Francisca remained loyal to him as his royal partner. She was an intelligent woman with a strong influence in the palace. Although her husband was controlled by advisors and palace officials, Queen Maria Francisca often tried to assist in influencing critical decisions made at the palace. The conflict between King Afonso VI and Queen Maria Francisca reached its peak when the king attempted to replace Maria Francisca as queen with another woman. King Afonso VI had long been dissatisfied with Maria Francisca's strong position and influence in the palace's political affairs. He felt restricted by her ambitions and interference in important state decisions. Queen Maria Francisca, as a smart and influential woman, realized that her position as queen was in danger. She tried to maintain her authority and persuade the king to reconsider his decision. However, the advisors and palace officials who disliked her attempted to influence the king to stick to his decision. In 1667, King Afonso VI finally took decisive action and removed Queen Maria Francisca from the palace. He exiled her to Quelu's convent, a monastery outside Lisbon, as a measure to distance her from the palace and reduce her influence. Maria Francisca's exile meant the end of her life as a queen, and her position as the king's wife was taken over by another woman. Despite being away from the palace, Maria Francisca did not give up. She continued to strive to reclaim her position as queen and engaged in political efforts from her place of exile to influence decisions at the palace. The tension between the couple lasted for several years, and palace intrigues continued. In 1683, King Afonso VI passed away after ruling Portugal for 27 years. His death marked the end of his controversial and politically intricate reign. With the king's demise, it seemed that the influence of the advisors and palace officials, who had been controlling the government, diminished, and Queen Maria Francisca saw an opportunity to return to the palace. After King Afonso VI's death, Queen Maria Francisca successfully returned to the palace after experiencing a long period of exile at Quelu's convent. Her exile had lasted for over a decade, during which she struggled to maintain her position as queen and continued to try to influence political decisions at the palace. Her return to the palace might have brought hopes for her to resume her role as an influential queen. However, the joy did not last long. In 1693, not long after her return to the palace, Queen Maria Francisca passed away. The exact cause of her death is not always clear in historical sources, but some indicate that she died due to an unknown illness. The death of Queen Maria Francisca marked the end of a life filled with intrigue, ambition, and challenges in Portuguese history. Despite having significant influence in the government and experiencing an eventful life, her power was ultimately limited by the physical and mental condition of her weak husband. After the deaths of the king and queen, Portugal was led by a new ruler who took over King Afonso VI's position. Their love story and struggles remain a captivating part of Portuguese history, illustrating the complexities of ruling during that era.